Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram. Instagram, I post my daily fragrance layering combination every day. I'm at joss.jane on Instagram as well as TikTok. Today, I am sharing with you my massive body mist collection. This was a subscriber request from the amazing Julie from Quebec. So thank you, Julie, for the request. And I am happy to share this with you. This is a lot. I just want to warn you, it's a lot of body mist. So please do not judge. Be kind in the comments. And I hope you enjoy. Okay, wow. This is pure insanity. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... This is all of my body sprays slash body mists. My daughter and I have spent, mostly my daughter, have spent some time dragging these down from the bedroom to the dining room table because this is a viewer request. Thank you to the beautiful Julie from Quebec for requesting this. This is my body mist collection or body sprays. Um, so I've got a lot of Bath and Body Works, some Victoria's Secret, and then some random stuff. We are going to dive in in no particular order. I'm going to try to start with Bath & Body Works. We'll just see how it goes. So just starting with what's in front of me, White Pumpkin and & Chai. And this is really new to me. I think I got this. I got this before the recent semi-annual sale. I think I just got this one um, when they had Body Care Day. And it's really pretty. It doesn't smell as gourmand as I would have expected. So I do like that. This is Cactus Blossom. And this is called the Faceted Collection because it comes in these faceted bottles. And so Cactus Blossom, I think, is kind of one of their, I don't want to say pillars, but kind of one of their regular fragrances that they've had around for a long time. It's fruity. It's nice. It's um, probably kind of in the middle of my favorites. Um, I'll talk about which ones are my favorites. Uh, there are a few. Your Candy Apple. I just got this one recently. I have to say it's not my favorite. It's a little bit, um, it's a little too soapy or something. I don't know. I'm just not crazy about it, but it's okay. And I decided not to pull the matching lotions and creams because it's just too much work, frankly. <laughs> but I do have a lot of the matching lotions and creams that go with all of these. And I have some shower gels, not as many shower gels, but I do have quite a few shower gels, most of the matching body creams and body lotions for these. So anyway, but I didn't want to pull them. Sorry. But anyway, Winter Candy Apple is nice, but not a love at all. So Sunrise Woods, I think this one came out in the fall and I really like this. It's sweet and fruity, but it's also got sandalwood, which I really love. Um, my friend Richard Peacock from the YouTube channel of the same name said I'm the sandalwood queen. So I do love a good sandalwood fragrance. And this is one in my opinion. Sweet Whiskey is just like it sounds. It's kind of one of those boozy, pretty fragrances that goes really well with that kind of boozy fragrance. So I really layer my body mists. I don't usually wear a body mist on its own. I post layering combinations every day on Instagram with different body mists and perfumes. And so Sweet Whiskey is a really nice one. It's not going to read all the notes for all of these, but just kind of showing you what this has. Golden Amber vanilla infused whiskey, sweet red berries. So that's a great, great combination. And this really goes well with something like Ellis Brooklyn B, for example. From last summer, this is Beachfront Blanket. This is kind of like your Tide fresh laundry type smell, um, almost Febreze-like. So I like this okay. Um, the kind of clean, fresh laundry smell is not my favorite probably category of fragrances, but this does layer well with some things. So I do like this layered with some various things. And again, check out my Instagram for different layering ideas. This is Cozy Sunday Morning. I really haven't worn this one yet, so I am going to look at the notes because I don't even know what's in here. Fresh Lavender, Creamy Vanilla, Soft Sandalwood. So that sounds very nice. And I think I'm going to have to set this one aside to make sure I make a point of wearing this soon because I just got this fairly recently and I really haven't worn it. So I'm going to try that one. This is Tahiti Island Dream, which is a really nice summery one. Fruity, summery, goes really well with lots of different summery perfumes. And it's got a kiwi note. I did a kiwi video recently and um, I forgot to include this one, but this does have a kiwi note. I really like this. This is Pink Velvet Cupcake, a really pretty gourmand in a faceted bottle. And this is just like it sounds, just a really sweet gourmand, cakey, delicious, Sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, sugared praline, yum, yum, 
very delicious and nice. This is Fairy Tale. This one just came out like last fall, I think. And this is such pretty packaging. I love it. It's been compared to YSL Libre, which is a fragrance that I have and I really like. And this is just a really nice fragrance. It smells more expensive than it is, I think. And I just really like it. And I love the packaging design. This is Pure Wonder. This one came out for the holidays this past year. And this is a very pretty one too. It's nice kind of floral, fruity, kind of sparkling and just really great for the winter and the fall, I think. Snowflakes and cashmere, very pretty. I love something that's got a cashmere note. This has vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods and frosted clementine. So very pretty and nice. I think even though this is marketed as a winter fragrance, this works year round. Perfect Peony is kind of a classic. It's a really pretty floral, and I don't have the notes on this one, but I probably got this one maybe a year ago, and it's just a really nice floral. This layers with lots of different floral fragrances, so it's a really nice one to have around. Ivory Cashmere. This is a beautiful cashmere fragrance that has fresh lakeside air, silver musk, and white amber, so totally up my alley. I love this kind of warm and cozy fragrance category. Very pretty. This is one of the summer ones. This is Grapefruit Frosé. Very cute packaging. Um, so this was last summer and it's very fruity and sweet and citrusy. Nice. Very nice for layering with different kinds of fruity summery fragrances. Kind of one of the classic Bath and Body Works fragrances. It's Japanese Cherry Blossom. Not my favorite. It's kind of um, in the same vein as Winter Candy Apple. Um, and I don't know if that's just coincidental that they're both red, but this one, I don't know, it just, this one has that kind of cleaner smell to me like Winter Candy Apple does, and it's just not my favorite. I do layer it occasionally with different things, but it does have a pear note, which is nice, but overall this is kind of lower tier for me. This is my baby Bonfire Bash. I love this one so much. It's got vanilla bourbon, cashmere musk, creamy sandalwood. I actually used up a whole full-size body mist of Bonfire Bash and I have a whole video on different layering ideas with this one and I just love it. It's sweet, it's marshmallow, it's just perfect and some people say it's a little smoky. I get a very very slight smokiness but nothing that's too much. It's just right. I love it. This is Firecracker Pop from last summer and this one is great. This is a very cherry fragrance. I just love this one. It's just fun and fruity, nothing too serious, very fun, fruity, juicy cherry, and it layers with lots of different things. And it's got this kind of 4th of July, kind of 4th of July packaging that's very cute in my opinion. This is Whipped Vanilla Chiffon. This is such a yummy one. I need to really, I need to wear this one soon because this is like a really pretty, sweet, but fruity vanilla fragrance. And I think I featured this one in my vanilla body mists video, which I'll put up in the cards for you. This is a really nice one and I'm putting this one to the other side. So I remember to wear this one soon. This is Sunwashed Citrus. It's in special edition packaging. Love always wins. I think I think this was last June for Pride Month. So Sunwashed Citrus is a really nice citrus fragrance. Works great in summer. Layers with lots of things. Very versatile and pretty. It's the classic champagne toast. You can tell I put a little dent in here. This is just such a pretty, fruity, sparkly, and delicious, versatile fragrance that layers with lots of different things. I really love this one. Berry Waffle Cone came out last summer. Very cute packaging. Um, I think this is a great one for year round, not just summer. It's gourmand. It's kind of bakery-ish. It's delicious, and I really like this. This is Pink Tie-Dye, which has a distinct apple note. It's very pretty and juicy and really goes nicely with lots of different apple-based fragrances. This is Dahlia, and Dahlia is a really nice one. I, I think it's pretty underrated. Not crazy about the packaging, it's just not my thing, but I think it's a really pretty fragrance. It goes with a lot of different um, floral fragrances, so Dahlia, very underrated in my opinion. This is Triple Berry Martini, and um, Triple Berry Martini, Champagne Toast, and Twinkling Nights, they're all very similar to me, very kind of juicy cherries and berries, along with kind of a sparkling champagne um, and this is such cute packaging, I think. So this is a nice one, but I probably don't need Triple Berry Martini and Champagne Toast and Twinkling Nights because I think they're all a little bit similar. Champagne Sprinkles, I love this one. This is like champagne-y with raspberry icing. Super pretty. I got this last year at the Summer some, summer SAS sale. It's just a really nice one. And I this layers with lots of different things. That raspberry note just really brings this to a beautiful place. Raspberry Tangerine is just like it sounds. I really love this. It's It goes with lots of different things too. This packaging is not really my favorite, but it's a nice fragrance and versatile, especially in the summer. 
This is a thousand wishes. I think this is one that they always have, kind of one of their pillars. It's a nice fragrance. This one has a lot of really pretty notes like Prosecco and Quince and Amber and Amaretto Cream. So this is a really pretty fragrance and I need to put this one to the side because I really haven't worn it that much and I like I'd like to try this one a little bit more. Boardwalk Taffy, such a pretty, pretty fragrance. It's similar to Cotton Candy Clouds. I think they're pretty much the same. So sweet and marshmallowy and delicious. It's just a great gourmand. I think it's great for year round, actually, even though it was marketed as a summer fragrance. Also Hydrangeas is a really nice one from last summer. And this one is kind of an aquatic and I really like it. So Bath and Body Works doesn't seem to have as many aquatics. So it's got Fresh Hydrangeas, Ocean Mist, and Golden Apples. Really pretty. I like this one a lot. Candied Violet Sorbet from last year's SAS. This is a juicy violet, sweet, and slightly tart. Very pretty. Uh, I like this one a lot. I think it's just really nice, and it goes a, it goes with a lot of different things. That's what I love about many of these is they're so versatile. Sunshine Mimosa, very pretty, fun, bright packaging. It's a nice, juicy, fruity it's juicy and fruity. It's got a champagne note with citrus and champagne and citrus. Just really pretty and layers with lots of different things. Nice. This is one of the darker, deeper, richer ones. This is Black Amethyst. And this one smells a little bit more like it could be a standalone perfume. So it's got peony petals, sweet sandalwood and patchouli, creamy amber. It's really nice. I haven't worn it. I mean, you can sell it. See, I haven't really worn it at all but this one's nice it's definitely the more kind of wintry side of Bath and Body Works and the less kind of bright fruits. Magnolia Charm is a really beautiful floral we pear blossom blooming magnolia fresh cedar very very beautiful combination packaging is kind of simple but kind of classy and it's a very pretty floral. This one I got slightly on a whim because I've heard really good things about it and it is very nice. It's called Pumpkin Cupcake and it's not as crazy gourmand as it sounds. It's actually very wearable, which was a pleasant surprise because it's got whipped buttercream, pumpkin spice, vanilla cake batter. So that sounds really, really rich and sweet, but it's actually very wearable. So I really like this and I think the packaging is kind of cute. Blackberry and basil is kind of a unique one because it's very aromatic and not quite as sweet and fruity, but it's slightly fruity. It's just a really nice one, especially in spring and summer. This is Cherry Limeade, and it's just like it sounds. It really is kind of like a Dairy Queen Cherry Limeade. Very pretty. I love this packaging. So cute. Almond Blossom is a really beautiful one. I'm going to put this off to the side so I'd be sure to wear it because it's so, so pretty. I love anything with almond, and this is a gorgeous one. Holly Black Coconut Sands. This is a very pretty summer one. It's very creamy coconut and it's really, really nice. It's got some fruits, very pretty and summery. I've got a mini of the iconic Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is probably one of like the first gourmand perfumes um, and it's really nice and it goes with so many things. It's kind of a classic. The other travel size I have for Bath & Body Works is the this is the Christmas version of iced cinnamon rolls. It smells just like it sounds. It's very pretty. So I really like this one. It only came in the travel size, but that's fine. This is coconut candy apple. So I really like this one. Unlike winter candy apple, which I really didn't like too much, coconut candy apple is much sweeter and it's got the coconut. I love a coconut note. I love this packaging. It's a really good one. Whipped Rose Latte is a pretty new one. It smells so good. It layers with lots of different things. It's slightly gourmand, but not too gourmand. It's just a really, really nice one. Highly recommend this one. From last summer, this is Sea Salt and Lavender. I really like this one. I love the packaging. And this one, um, I don't think it was very popular, but I actually really like it because I do like the, the note of lavender. So this layers well with a lot of different lavender fragrances I have in my collection. And this is a good one, I think. Strawberry Soda from last summer. It's such cute packaging. It sounds, it smells just like it sounds. It's really just kind of a basic strawberry. It's juicy. It's pretty. It's not very serious, but I like it. This is Forever Red. This is kind of one of their classic pillar fragrances. Very pretty, juicy, fruity, kind of red berries and just a nice, nice fragrance. Goes with lots of different things. I put a little bit of a dent in this one. Watermelon Lemonade is kind of a classic too. This, again, just smells like it sounds. Very pretty, juicy, fruity, especially in summer. This is just a really nice one. Layers with lots of different things. So this is Apple Blossom and it really smells like it sounds. This is a slightly older version and it's nice. It's nothing too 
extraordinary or unique, but I do like it. Coconut cream pie is a really great one. This one smells so good. It's very creamy and rich. It's been compared to confetti cake pop, which is discontinued and hard to find. I think they actually just re-released coconut cream pie in slightly different packaging, but this is a good one. Highly recommend. Brown sugar and fig is one of the more wintry, very pretty kind of pillar fragrances. It's nice. I love a fig note, and this is just a sweet, juicy fig. This is pink chiffon. It's a classic. It's just a really nice, fruity floral. I've put a little bit of a dent in this one because it's just so pleasant and fun. Nothing too serious, but I definitely like it. The newer one called Vanilla Mocha Cream, and I think this isn't the first version of this, but I love this one. I just got this recently, and it's so pretty and sweet and gourmand and rich, and I'm a coffee lover, and I just love this. This is the classic Vanilla Bean Noel. This is from a couple years ago. It's got the green juice, very pretty. It's kind of got almost a chocolatey note to it. In addition to vanilla, I like this a lot. Hello Beautiful is kind of a classic from Bath & Body Works. It's just a nice floral, slightly fruity, kind of like your pink florals, like peony and orchid, very nice. Sugar Cherry Crisp is a gorgeous one. I wish they would bring it back. I feel like I've put a dent in this one because I love it so much. It's just a very delicious gourmand cherry pie fragrance, and this is stunning. Mango Mai Tai in this fun packaging. This is a really nice mango fragrance, perfect for summer, layers well with pretty much any mango fragrance, and I really enjoy this one. This is Sweater Weather, and there are a few different versions of Sweater Weather. The one I have has an apple note, and I think this packaging is very cute. So I really like this one. It's nice for fall, but actually this can really work any time of year, I think. This is Margarita Cupcake. This is, I think, really cool and pretty and kind of unique. This reminds me a lot of the discontinued and very popular, hard to find Zara Sweet Pastry in Paris. So if you have this and you want Sweet Pastry in Paris, you really don't need Sweet Pastry in Paris because this really gives you the same effect. Very cool fragrance. This is In the Stars, which is kind of your Baccarat Rouge 540 or Ariana Grande Cloud type fragrance. It's that really indescribably beautiful, sweet kind of saffron and oud type fragrance. Very nice. This is Kaleidoscope. Um, this one comes back occasionally. It's really nice. If you like Glossier U, you will probably love this. This is kind of the Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume type fragrance. It's like musky and slightly floral but just very pretty and hard to pinpoint or describe because it's just one of those kind of natural pretty fragrances. This is pear berry. I think this one is pretty much a classic. It's pears and berries and it's a very nice juicy fruity fun fragrance. Ruby apple and rosewood. This one is somewhat new to me. I really like this fun fragrance with gala apple autumn peony and soft suede. So I love those kind of fragrances and this one is very nice. Midnight pomegranate. This is one that's been around for quite a while but I just got it recently. So this is nice. This is kind of like a really wintry one with pomegranate notes and some really other interesting fruity notes. So I do like this one. Raspberry jam donut is fabulous. I really hope they bring this one back. It's like the fabulous gourmand and just so delicious and actually I think I got this on fragrance net so you can actually pick up a lot of Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret body sprays on fragrancenet.com, fragrancex.com, and fragrancebuy.ca. They all seem to have certain Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret fragrances, so that is definitely an option if you're looking for something that's been discontinued or isn't available. Check out those places. Also Mercari. I know I've gotten a few on Mercari too over the years, so but this is a beautiful one. Dark Kiss is really pretty. I think I might have gotten this one on Mercari. This this is a really nice winter fragrance, very deep, rich, juicy, and sweet. This is Pinkberry Clouds. This one is fun. has notes of strawberry, sponge sugar, marshmallow, fluff, and fresh air. So I really like this one. I have the matching body scrub with this one. Very pretty. This is Twinkling Nights, which I talked about earlier. It's just a pretty, fruity, bright fun fragrance with whipped jasmine petals, whipped vanilla, and mandarin blossom. So very juicy and fun. This is Happy Vibes. I really haven't worn this one yet because I just got it. So I don't even really know what it is except for citruses. I think it's mostly citruses, but pretty packaging. Unfortunately, I lost the cap to this one, but um, I love a good citrus, so I'm looking forward to trying that one. This is Champagne Apple and Honey. I really like this one. I love champagne fragrances. I think they're just so fun and fruity and I love an apple note and a honey note, so this one is just really good. Honey Wildflower. So this is a 2021 release. I think it's really pretty. It's got a pear note. It's got flowers. The packaging is stunning. Very beautiful. 
nice fragrance. I have the matching body butter for this one. It's really nice. We've got Into the Night, which is a very pretty one. A little bit Baccarat Rouge 540-ish. It's nice. It's probably got some patchouli in here, I think. And this is like, it sounds, it's just, it's more of a nighttime kind of fragrance. It's nice though. Kind of a classic. Golden Sunflower. I need to get rid of this one because... <laughs> The sprayer doesn't work on this one. It's one of those garden hose type sprayers. So I don't know. This is just like a broken sprayer. I don't know what to do with this. So I might just have to get rid of this one. And it wasn't one of my favorites, but it came out last year, I think, maybe two years ago. And it's okay, but it's, like I said, just not my favorite. This is Gingham Heart of Gold. I really like this one. One of my daughters loves the original Gingham, but it's just kind of not my jam because it's kind of that laundry fresh type fragrance, which just really isn't my thing. So this has crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood. I love sandalwood, <laughs> as I mentioned. So I just, I love this Gingham Heart of Gold. It's really nice. Just out this year. Velvet Sugar, kind of one of the classics. It's very pretty, fruity, floral, and juicy, and not too serious, but kind of one of the classics from Bath & Body Works. Then I've got some Christmassy ones here. So we've got Sleigh Rides and Snuggles, which is a really interesting, fun Actually, this is the one I'm wearing today. I really like it. It's very kind of invigorating. So it's got snow-kissed icicles, fluffy balsam, and vanilla bourbon. Really enjoying this one today. A Thousand Christmas Wishes in the faceted packaging. This is a nice spin on A Thousand Wishes with pomegranate prosecco, sweet elderberries, star jasmine, and sugared woods. Very pretty. And then these lovelies... And then Fresh Sparkling Snow, I think this is one they kind of bring back every year. Very pretty with Iced Pear Frozen Melon, Winter Apple, Snowdrop Blossom, and Frosted Musk. So very nice. I need to wear this one. I'm going to put this off to the side. So I wear it. And then these cuties, I did not get all of the Christmas collection, but I got quite a few <laughs> this last year. I got Christmas Cookies, which is so pretty. This is like the confetti cake pop i think so i do have the confetti cake pop in a body cream but i need to kind of use that up before it goes bad so this smells really good very delicious and cakey and then these are really nice so we've got hope which is winter peach marshmallow i love this one i love marshmallow and peach so that's awesome love is cotton candy champagne i love cotton candy and i love champagne so this is fabulous. And then Joy is sugared snickerdoodle, which is also really pretty with the kind of spiced snickerdoodle cookie. It's, and I love this packaging. It's so cute. So I really liked that Christmas collection. So now we're going to move into Victoria's Secret. Their packaging is so pretty. Some of it, I mean, this dreamy plum dahlia, and I love these fragrances. Some of the, I have to say, I haven't worn Victoria's Secret as much lately as Bath and Body Works because I have so much Bath and Body Works, but some of these are really good. Dreamy Plum Dahlia is really nice. I like this a lot. In fact, I think everything I have in this type of packaging, I really enjoy. So this was from about a year ago, I think. So that's one. Their winter collection from last year, I think is fabulous. So they had Win Wonderland Woods, which is Snowy Pear Winter Rose. And there was Glittering Iris, which is Sugared Iris Iced Coconut. Love this packaging so much. Toasted honey, very beautiful. With candied pear toasted nut, toasted hazelnut, so pretty. Tempting pear jasmine, juicy pear and alluring jasmine. Love that. Going back to the winter collection, we've got fresh snowfall, which has sugared peony and holly berries. Just love it. And you can tell I've put a tent in quite a few of these. Vanilla Dusk is gorgeous. This one has Tahitian Vanilla and Honeyed Fig. This is Winter Sky, which has Arctic Air and Coconut Ice. Very pretty. Goes with a lot of different things. I think this is the last one with this type of packaging. This is Daring Peach Daisy, which has Fresh Peach Wild Petals. Very pretty. This is Velvet Petals Radiant and this one has Kiwi Burst and Velvet Petals. I picked this one up to do my Kiwi video that I mentioned earlier, and I really like this. It's so pretty and juicy and fun. Loved it. This is Coconut Milk and Rose. You can tell I put a little dent in this one because I love it. Feel calm with the scent of Coconut Milk and Rose. Very beautiful. 
Another one I've put a serious dent in is Citrus Chill, which is sparkling tangelo and almond blooms. I really like Citrus Chill. We've got Coconut Passion, which is kind of a classic from Victoria's Secret with Island Coconut Warm Sands. This is the original Velvet Petals, which I really like. Lush Berries Almond Glaze. This is Love Spell La Creme. It was so pretty. I'm acting like I don't I'm acting like I don't have these anymore, but I just, I need to break out Victoria's Secret more because I definitely tend to favor Bath and Body Works, like I said, but this one is really nice. This is Peach Blossom Cashmere Woods, Golden Pear, kind of pretty packaging, Pear Blossom Bergamot Splash. This one I heard about from Shaughnessy from the channel, Simply Shaughnessy, I'll link her below, she's amazing. And I picked this one up on Mercari and I just love it. It's a pear fragrance, it's so pretty, I love this one. Lotus Desire is another really nice one. White Lotus Deep Woods. Here are a couple more with these pack this packaging. Radiant Berry. White Raspberry Creamy Woods. Lots of nice sandalwood fragrances. Autumn Blossom has fresh apricot and sugared musk. Nice fall fragrance. Bear Vanilla La Creme. I really like this one. You can tell I put a pretty good dent in this one. And it's got Decadent Vanilla Orchid. Sponge Sugar, and I love that packaging. I think it's really cool. Desert Lily is a very pretty one. This is Velvet Petals Decadent, which has rich pomegranate and Arctic berries. Very pretty. This is Orchid Santal, which I got at last year's collection, and it's got Orchid, Amplify Santal, Prismatic Iris. Very pretty. Love the packaging. I've got some really nice summer ones here, like Capri Lemon Leaves, Lemon Leaves, and Sea Spray Accord. <laughs> Santrope Beach Orchid, which is a really pretty beachy sunscreeny kind of fragrance. And Santorini Neroli Water, which is really nice. Neroli Water Butterfly Lily, such pretty packaging. And then I have a few from the pink line. So I've got Honey Mist, which has Honey Drizzle, Purple Dahlia, and Whipped Vanilla. Very nice. Cozy Sugar, which has Toasted Marshmallow and Vanilla. Yum, love that. I've got Warm and Cozy. Unfortunately, I got the Shimmer version, but whatever. I'll still use it. I love Warm and Cozy. It's kind of a classic. This has Soft Vanilla, and I think there's like red berries in here. It's just so pretty. And Calm Water, which is a beautiful water lily and juicy pear fragrance. So nice and gorgeous. And then finally, I've got two Ulta body sprays. I've got Coconut Cream, and I've got Salted Pineapple. So these are decent. Um, I really haven't worn them too much, to be frank, but they are nice. So. And lastly, I have Black Raspberry Vanilla, which I had pulled out for wearing tomorrow. So, yeah, that's it. So that was my body mist collection. I hope you enjoyed this. I would love to hear about what your favorite body mist is. Do I have any missing that I need to pick up? Let's have a chat down in the comments. Thank you again, Julie, for requesting this. And thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you. And I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.